I love a good RPG as much as the next person, but I often struggle to recommend them to people. Most of my friends just don't have 50 hours in their busy lives to grind away at an epic JRPG, and it's hard to blame them for that. But fortunately for all of you with limited free time, Jack Move has arrived with the ultimate 8 to 10 hour RPG experience. In the neon dystopia of Jack Move, corporations have taken over the role of the government and that's worked out as well as you'd expect. A young hacker called Noah has a tough life in the slums, but with the power of her deck and genius friend Ryder, she's determined to cause some chaos and make life hard for the megacorp monolife while she's at it. This carefree way of life doesn't last long though, as her estranged father is kidnapped and all signs point to monolife. The story is gripping from start to finish, with a colourful cast of relatable characters driving the narrative forwards. There are complex relationships explored in the short runtime, as well as some poignant themes of loss throughout that are counterbalanced with a bit of light-hearted banter. But once that banter is over though, it's time for battle. Combat is turn-based and features Noah single-handedly facing all manner of security personnel and creatures with the power of software. In Jack Move, software is essentially your magic, with elemental attacks split into three categories of cyberware, electroware and wetware. These elemental types beat each other in a rock-paper-scissors style and enemies are handily colour-coded so you know which move to use against them. You can only have so much software installed at once though, so there's a good chance you won't have all the abilities you need for a random battle. And that's where the install function comes in, which allows you to swap your loadout to suit the situation mid-battle. It can really help to switch out useless moves for buffs and healing, but when you're in the middle of a tense boss fight, using up that precious turn might be risky. As well as all of your attack software, healing software and debuffs, you also have powerful jack moves to unleash. These attacks can be used when your jack move meter fills up from dealing and taking enough damage, and feature a little timing minigame that helps determine the damage they deal. It's always worth using these massive attacks the moment they become available, not just because they end fights quickly by hitting everybody, but because the more you use them, the stronger they get. It's not just different super moves and software you need to keep track of though, you also need to equip hardware. You have three slots for hardware and each piece you slot in powers you up massively. There's hardware that gives you extra RAM slots for the software, hardware that boosts your stats, and even hardware that makes Noah perform a counterattack every single time she gets hit. It's well worth heading down to the store and spending your hard-earned coin on these handy upgrades. You're never really told that the one store in the slums has almost every single piece of hardware and software available from the start of the game, albeit with level requirements to purchase. Once you hit level 5, you'll be able to buy dozens of different chips, and although it's a little overwhelming, it's fun to start making decisions about how to kit Noah out. There isn't really a whole lot more to Jack Move, but although it's a fairly simple RPG, it's just incredibly refined. All of the goodness of an epic SNES JRPG like Final Fantasy VI or Chrono Trigger has been distilled into this dinky adventure, and there wasn't a single moment I stopped grinning from ear to ear while playing it. I'm not sure how developers so romantic managed to fit an engaging story, exciting and constantly evolving combat, and interesting boss fights into such a small package, but by Jove they've done it. I should also mention that alongside everything else, the visuals and soundtrack are absolutely banging as well. The character models took a while to grow on me, but the vibrant cyberpunk environments had me drooling from the offset. The music is just perfect for the setting too, with synthy electronic tunes that got well and truly stuck in my head. If you don't love the victory music especially, I don't think we can be friends. Jack Move is a spectacular game, but it does have a few little niggles. Most side quests you get from random NPCs are pretty lacklustre, and often just reward you with a few consumables you already have dozens of. The random battles will feel a bit archaic for some too, but admittedly the ability to change their frequency or turn them off altogether does alleviate that somewhat. Jack Move is a lovely bite-sized RPG that gripped me from start to finish, with a heartfelt story, fantastic combat and a hell of a soundtrack. The random battles won't please everyone, but with so little else to complain about, this RPG is an absolute must-play for anyone with even a passing interest in the genre, which is why we're giving it a 9.5 out of 10. Hey, Adam from GodIsAGeek.com here. Hope you enjoyed Lyle's review of Jack Move, a game which I had barely heard of, and then I played it, and like Lyle, just loved it. It was It's just like a love letter to that sort of older RPG, but with some just amazing artwork in it. It's just a great, great game. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss another video. We've been playing this on Steam Deck and you know PC, obviously, and 
runs exactly as you'd expect, which is pretty much perfectly because it's not a taxing game. It is coming to consoles eventually, so I think at the end of September, so maybe keep an eye on it there if you haven't got a PC capable of playing games. Otherwise, make sure you go to godisgeek.com for all your gaming needs, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.